All right, gentlemen. Prepared to taste the most succulent, evenly marinated beef that you have ever... Is that my robe? It is indeed, Horace. And it is comforting me at an elite spa level. I think I should also point out that I'm absolutely famished. And those fillets actually smell promising. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. It's Henry. They're ribeyes. Is there a problem? Well, look at it. It's still got the marks where the jockey was hitting it. You're free. Parking lot attendants confirmed your alibi. Ah! So I can go? The sooner the better. Ah! And for God's sakes, take a shower. I'll never forget you. What was your name again? Nose hair trimmer. Invest. Can you even remember what it felt like to be able to move the muscles in your face? Who decorated this place? Chris Christofferson? Is that? Damn. I built that table. Really? I'm pretty sure if I were to build a table, I would start by using wood that had never drifted. All right, yeah, that's it. Already? I'm just getting started. I've got a sonnet for each piece of fish paraphernalia. Oh, yeah? Well, I got ice-cold can of whip-ass just sitting in that fridge. Actually, that's diet whip-ass. Yeah. You must be out of your damn mind. Dude, you have three full cups. I will slap you, Sean. Now, tell me. Are you absolutely certain that this cow shoulder on my plate is, in fact, dead? I'm just asking. That's it. Take off the robe. Wearing that robe is a privilege, and you, pal, have just lost it. I steadfastly refuse. This is the plushest, most opulent robe I've ever had the pleasure of wearing. Well, there's one thing we can agree on. Now give it up. Now, I feel like an angel baby swaddled in a cocoon of cloud candy. You either take it off or I'll take it off for you. Dad, I don't think you're thinking this through. Sean! Dad, I'm pretty sure he's going commando and... <laughs> Keep playing, Sean. Go ahead. What kind of sick bastard goes commando underneath another man's robe? All right, all right, all right. Come with me. Come with me. Come on. Dad, just walk it off. He's not staying here. He violated basic rope code. Rope code violation. Check. Look, Sean, there's a reason this guy's on the run. He's been here ten minutes even. I want to kill him. That's the problem, Dad. How do I protect him from everybody? You've already got a suspect in jail. She was just released. Now we have a plethora of suspects and no way to narrow them down. It's easy. Tighten your focus. Who does he victimize the most? Is that peach cobbler in the fridge for everybody? <laughs>